In this demo, we'll be setting up Visual Studio Team Services with a new project for our doc source. Visual Studio Team Services, or VSTS, is Microsoft's cloud version of Team Foundation Server, which supports lots of great features and doesn't require any hardware infrastructure on your part. It's free for small projects and teams. You can get started by visiting visualstudio.com and choosing the Get Started for Free link under Visual Studio Team Services. I'll meet you inside VSTS after I get logged in. So here I am in my main VSTS welcome page, which shows my projects. I'm going to jump right in and create a brand new project. I'll call it Coding with Kids and leave the description blank, as well as leaving the version controls set to Git and the work item process set to Agile. After the project setup process completes, I see some information very much like what we saw earlier in the course from GitHub. I'll expand the push existing repository item and copy the commands there. This should be a good refresher of how we got our project into GitHub earlier in the course. We'll pop over to VS Code and continue our work there. Back here in VS Code, I've got a copy of our doc project and have already added a .git ignore file that will ignore our underscore build folder from Git monitoring. With that done, I can use the source control tab and the Git button to initialize the directory as a Git repository. Then I can commit all of the changes locally using the VS Code Git interface. To finish up though, I'll need to use the terminal with those commands I copied from VSTS. I'll open the terminal and paste in the first command a git remote add command that hooks us up to our VSTS repo. Then I type in the second command to push the changes up to the server. I see some progress output, which looks good. Let's pop back to VSTS and make sure our code has been uploaded. Refreshing the page, I no longer see the setup instructions, and when I go to the code tab, I see the code listed out. Nice! So we're all set up and ready to continue. Our next step will be setting up a build agent.